Some fine French and Spanish artwork has found a new way into the United States this year via Miami International Airport. While overall U.S. imports of paintings and other artwork are up almost 57% in a year when total imports of every stripe are up 6.38%, imports of artwork into MIA are up a preposterous 3,285.47%. I did not misspeak, that's 3,285.47%. The growth is such that MIA now ranks first nationally for imports in this category, supplanting New York City's JFK International. While it accounted for 2.6% of all imports in this category in 2020, MIA is up to 46% through February, the most recent U.S. Census Bureau data available. JFK, which accounted for 62% of the total in 2020, accounted for a still substantial 44% through February. The growth from France is such that it now ranks as MIA's fourth most important trade partner, ahead of China. Spain, which accounted for less than one half of 1% 1 of MIA trade in 2020, today ranks in the top 10 with 3.1% of the total. In the five years prior to 2021, the two-month total never topped $30 million. The 2021 total was $538.73 million. Is the pace sustainable? Perhaps not. Is it something of an aberration? Perhaps. But overall, MIA is off to a good start in 2021. It's trade up just under 1%. That's good because first, the total is the third best in seven years. And second, the next few months, are those where trade across the nation's airports, seaports, and border crossings generally plummeted as the nation raced to deal with a then new and scary virus, what we would all come to know as COVID-19. Hard to know what picture MIA will paint in the coming months, but the one in the first two months was magnifique. From outside the Washington Beltway and inside the trade numbers, this is Ken Roberts, and this has been another episode of Trade Matters because it does. Thanks for watching and sharing.